the Industrial Revolution. In the early medieval period, non-agricultural goods were produced in rural households in England. Later, when towns grew, goods began to be made in craft skills. As this method did not satisfy the growing demands of goods, a new method called domestic system came up. The production units were still located in houses, but now merchants supplied raw materials to these units. The craftsmen used simple tools to produce finished goods, which were then collected by the same merchant who sold them in the market. Even this system was inadequate to keep up with the demand. Meanwhile, Many new machines were invented like the steam engine, the spinning jenny, cotton gin and power loom. So, a new system of production called factory system arose. The workers went to work in a building called factory owned by a capitalist. They were paid wages by the capitalist. Production was carried on with the help of a large number of machines mainly run by steam power. This shift of production by machines led to the advent of machine age. Production was multiplied by many times. The series of industrial and technological changes that began in the late 18th century, resulting in cheap and efficient mass production of different types of goods, came to be known as Industrial Revolution. As a result of the Industrial Revolution, rate of production went up. New goods were produced. More people were able to afford goods which were termed as luxury goods. There was large-scale migration of people from villages to towns as employment opportunities expanded, wages increased and more leisure time was available. As people crowded in towns, their living conditions became deplorable with problems of housing and sanitation. Poor sewerage system led to epidemics. Women and children were employed in large numbers in factories with no safety standards. Men, women and children worked for long hours and with poor wages. There was no security of jobs and if the machines went out of order, the workers had to work even longer hours. The Industrial Revolution brought nations together through developments in the transport and communication system. Before the revolution, India had supplied finished goods to England, but things changed with the Industrial Revolution. The search for raw materials, markets and cheap labor began by the industrialized European countries. The machines worked faster and demanded more and more raw materials. They also produced these products which needed to be sold in the world market. With this, the trading depots expanded into colonies. The European powers then took over the political control of these countries so that they could have monopoly over trade and commerce. They also wanted to control the economic policies of these countries. This is how an era of imperialism began with the advent of the 19th century. These changes took place as a result of British conquest of India. After 1757, more and more areas came under the direct control of the company. To help the British make goods reach the interiors of India and to procure raw materials, roads were improved and canals were made suitable for steamboats. But it was the railway network crisscrossing India that changed the face of India. It helped the movements of goods, troops and people. With the building of Suez Canal, India came closer to England and it became cheaper to bring British goods to India. Since these were machine-made goods, they were cheaper than the handmade products produced by our craftsmen. So, they drove our artisans out of business. What damaged the most of our indigenous industries was free trade. It meant movement of goods between countries without payment of duties or customs. One way free trade meant that British goods coming into India paid no duties while Indian goods entering England were made to pay prohibitive duties. This was the demand from the rising manufacturing class of England who put a lot of pressure on the British government to follow this policy. Thus, the Indian import into England was discouraged and the British goods into India were encouraged. In 1813, the British government abolished the monopoly of the company to trade in India and the East. It now opened its trades 
to all British subjects. The Indian handmade goods were unable to compete against the much cheaper products of British mills. The factories used better techniques and steam power. Soon British goods started flooding in Indian markets. At the same time, Indian goods were sent to Britain faced heavy duties.